Hello everyone, my name is Vikal Jain and today I am going to show you how to make a dashboard like this. See what is the feature of this dashboard if I am going to select anything and for example Avilasha Jain I am selecting and you can see graph is also changing, pie chart is changing, chart is changing and if I am going to select quarter 4 and see there is no data in quarter 4 and remove the filter and you can see everything is updating so today we are going to discuss this kind of dashboard and we have raw data over here and we are going to discuss the dashboard with this data so let's begin so for this dashboard we need to create multiple things here we are here we have those things so let's go step by step so let's begin with this table so this is a power table and this is showing some of total and some of units so let's begin so I'm creating a pivot table, Alt and V, new sheet I'm taking and I'm making it as dashboard. So here it is, total of units and total of amount. And let's put comma, I don't need decimals. Let's uh, change the pivot table format. So you can change any format whatever into you like so I am making this now the second table in our file is name and total amount so let's begin again that is your second pivot table so I am going to create that so now alt and v for pivot table existing sheet this time location would be on here I'll click ok now customer name and total now again I am changing the color so that my dashboard would be looks beautiful and here it is now the third step is line chart so line chart is as per date so let's begin so what I am going to do I am before line chart I am doing some work I am some making I am making some brand, uh, working file so what kind of working file I'm talking about whenever you are talking about dashboard so you need to create an extra sheet for workings so I'm creating working sheet so alt and v so here is new sheet that is I can rename it as working file now I need to insert a line chart so for that I need dates and you can see what here we have quarters and years so we are going to take that and total so whenever your pivot table is in correct format so it will automatically group that dates in quarters and months and years so I don't need dates and collapse all and here it is now create pivot uh, line chart so pivot table analysis pivot chart I'm taking line chart and this is I'm taking click OK and here it is I don't need this uh, sum of total years quarter so I am hiding it so for you need to go on pivot table analysis field button hide all now I don't need this total I'm deleting it even I don't need this total I'm deleting it now our chart is ready and so I'm going to move it so in the design tab move chart dashboard okay so here it is now you can resize chart as per your need so I am making my chart here now the fourth step is donut chart and that is reason wise so let's begin again I am creating a pivot table and this time I am inserting my pivot table on work, working file always so here it is reason and amount so again I am inserting a pivot table chart and here it is pie chart donut chart okay I don't need this simple chart I am again formatting this chart to different format and here it is I don't need this total and 
this uh, filter so i am again hiding it field buttons and hide all this now i didn't know don't need this total remove so move now i'm going to move this chart once again move chart and dashboards okay now oh, here it is here we go now the second part has been completed now the third chart is your this graph now let's talk about the third one again i'm going to insert a pivot table and this time i am going to take the items so i 10 v existing sheet i am inserting my all pivot tables in the working file because i'm going to hide it and items and amount now again i'm inserting a pivot table chart that is line chart and 3d chart i'm taking this time and the same total i don't need here total i don't need now you can format pivot table chart as per your desire changing the color and here it is a move chart dashboard okay now resizing it and here it is now the sixth step is slicers so let's begin with slicers so here we are going to insert three slicers and we can insert slicers on any pivot table so i am taking help of this pivot table and pivot table analysis insert slicers so i am inserting my slicers on the region customers and items so here i have inserted three slicers so items is here and shrink it a little bit more now changing the color green and customer name i don't need this big slicer so i am making two columns now here it is now changing the color once again now the reason reason you can put here So this uh, place is very small for reason. So I am putting here. And third color, you can take anything blue color. So here we go. Now the last step is remaining and timelines. So let's begin. Again, I'm taking the help of the same pivot table. You can take off help of this pivot table or any other pivot table. So insert timeline and here is the dates. Okay. Now changing the color, yellow, yellow is not good, green, yeah, green is good. So I am inserting my pivot table here and this one is a little bit here and timeline is here. So our dashboard is ready but the problem is to connecting. When we are changing any slicers, so it is only changing this pivot table. We need to connect all the things in our dashboard so how we can do that just uh, go to slicers and report connection just click on all pivot tables click ok and do the same activity here and here once again slicers report connection and with the same activity I am doing with the timelines report connections now, Okay, so here dashboard is ready and let's see the changes notebook and here is the data of notebook and glow stick and here it is. So now the Aryan Jain is here and my name is here. So this is good dashboard you can take half of this dashboard. So keep enjoying 